Thank you for visiting the Coin Lady channel again. We are pleased to inform you that January 11th is the scheduled day of the formal XRP settlement. In the continuing dispute between Ripple and some XRP investors on legal matters. On January 11th, the court hearing is set to occur. For the Bitcoin industry and its many participants, this conflict has raged on for a long time. This Ripple case is extremely important because its outcome could set yet another precedent. Ripple is facing accusations from a group of XRP market participants led by Madam that they sold XRP as an unregistered security. Okay, Zach. Consequently, the whole cryptocurrency industry can feel the effects of Judge Phyllis Hamilton's decision in a variety of ways. The first is that it might lead to other class actions being brought against other Bitcoin companies. According to a former CEO of Morgan Stanley, Bitcoin is here to stay. The key issues at stake in the ongoing legal battle between Ripple and the Securities and Exchange Commission are addressed in this case, making it particularly noteworthy. Since a positive ruling for the XRP investors could provide them more evidence to utilize in the remaining part of their case against Ripple, the Commission is likely to be closely monitoring the case. This is according to CryptoArey, a well-known XRP user. At the court hearing on January 11th, the main focus will be on the motion to approve the class notice form and method. The next step for the parties will be to follow the legal procedures that the court has already established, which will guide them throughout the case. Up till this moment, even though Ripples claimed there weren't enough people to start the class action case, the judge had already approved it. If this group of investors wins their case against Ripple, the cryptocurrency corporation, the Ripple cryptocurrency XRP price chart from TradingView.com shows that Ripple could be forced to pay out a large quantity of money. Right now, one XRP token will set you back 56 cents. Since Judge Annalisa Torres has previously ruled that XRP is not a security, many in the XRP community are wondering why the court is continuing to hear this class action lawsuit against Ripple. In particular, the judge ruled that XRP programmatic sales did not constitute an investment contract, thus, it appears that the lawsuit should not proceed. Considering that most of the class action plaintiffs probably acquire these XRP tokens through an automated means. Regardless, we should expect Ripple to continue arguing based on Judge Torres's decision in the ongoing lawsuit. The amount of XRP investors who support Ripple, including those who were involved in the amicus curiae, is high, according to Bill Morgan, a legal expert who supports XRP. As a whole, A exceeds the number of plaintiffs in this particular class action litigation. The XRP community has been in a frenzy since a recent Politico article brought attention to the fact that Senator Elizabeth Warren, who is notoriously critical of cryptocurrencies, has not been challenged by a strong Republican candidate. This fact could be considered by Judge Hamilton when the case is finally decided. A member of the XRP community has ignited a wave of enthusiasm by urging John Denton, a prominent pro-XRP lawyer, to run against Senator Warren for the Massachusetts Senate seat. Aries's post, in which she suggested that Deaton should run for office, went viral in the cryptocurrency community and received endorsements from prominent figures. Ripple CEO Brad Garlinhouse's retweet of Arias's statement was a massive stamp of approval from everyone in the business. In addition, Jeremy Hogan, a well-known pro-XRP lawyer, has shown his support for the idea by publicly endorsing it and challenging Deaton to accept it. Hogan explains that Deaton is so opposed to Senator Warren because she has consistently taken a stance against cryptocurrencies, which Deaton has continued to do throughout his career. On a frequent basis, Denton has highlighted Warren's behavior, highlighting her as a major danger to American individual liberty. He claims she has broken her oath as a legislator by failing to adequately oversee the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, and he cites her ineffective monitoring as an example. Not only that, he has accused the senator of shirking her duties and the attorney of endorsing XRP of doing the same. Deaton's reaction to the call and the request for his candidacy, Deaton used this piece to assert that I am an Elizabeth Warren critic due to her stance against cryptocurrency. Senator Warren has my full support when it comes to many problems, not just cryptocurrency. An example would be the cryptography system. An attorney who is in favor of XRP is just one example, 
there are many others. Here is why Denton wishes to have his voice heard by the U.S. Congress. He was the attorney elaborated on his criticism of Warren's ideas, shared his personal experiences and viewpoints, and compared them to what he sees as Warren's failures to address the wealth disparity during her 12 years as a senator. According to the attorney, Elizabeth Warren has not made any effort to contribute to the reduction of income inequality, despite her claims to be an advocate for this cause. Warren has recently attempted to pass legislation restricting Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, but her solution is to outlaw them. This is a reference to the world's most valuable asset, debt. Deaton was very critical of what Warren had done. Further, he dove further into his possible policy positions while criticizing her method, saying it was harmful to people's financial independence and counterproductive to the creation of new certified investors as debt. He spoke about how the typical American needs access to investing opportunities and how tax reform is a must. He said that the current rules regulating approved investors are unfair since they favor the rich and powerful too much. If you want to build wealth, you should buy more valuable assets. But how can regular people get their hands on things that are actually worth anything? According to Deaton, digital currency traders would benefit greatly from the guidance offered by Lakers Pro XRP attorneys if they had far greater access to these assets and marketplaces. Deaton also responded to Warren's stances on other important issues, like women's rights and abortion, stating his support for these causes and his willingness to engage in a more in-depth political discussion and debate. I cannot endorse a policy that would limit the liberties and rights of my three girls. I can't afford to sponsor something on that scale," he added, adding to his mounting debt. And highlighted Warren's history of fighting for corporate responsibility, drawing a comparison to his own work, which involves suing companies for harmful actions, he claimed that Warren was furious that no banker was sent to prison. After precipitating the financial catastrophe of 2008, after she set a new record, he said she had broken her own record. The bankers that are now billing her are the same ones. When asked about the unique political landscape of the state, Deaton brought up the comments made by Neil Hardner, a senior staff software engineer at Ripple, who claimed that, as a Republican, he fought harder in what is arguably the most democratic state. Everything changed today. Appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel and give it a like. Catch you later, farewell.